Jamaica is a perfect place for a honeymoon, romantic vacation, a destination wedding, or a simple getaway. There are a few places in the world where you can find such a rich, authentic, and culturally diverse experience set against a truly breathtaking tropical backdrop. And as with travel to any destination, it's helpful to know the things that are advisable when traveling to Jamaica and those which are not. Being aware of do's and don'ts can ensure you have the most fun on your perfect Jamaican vacation while helping to keep you safe. My name is Michelle and this is Honeymoon. If you're planning a vacation to the Caribbean, please hit that like button and subscribe to our channel. Also, be sure to ring the bell so you're notified the moment we release our next video. We work monthly to release great information that will help you be more informed when planning and booking your next Sandals Resort's Caribbean vacation. Be sure to check out the links below for helpful information about planning a Sandals Caribbean honeymoon or vacation. Before we jump into our list, we encourage you to be sure to review the latest COVID requirements for travel to Jamaica. Since requirements continue to change, rather than risking recording information that can become inaccurate, we have provided links below for you to get the latest COVID requirements for traveling to Jamaica. Now let's talk about what you should do to ensure you have the best Jamaican vacation. First, before booking a resort, do some research on attractions you'd like to visit. Jamaica is one of the largest islands in the Caribbean, which means you'll be able to find plenty of things to do, but there can be quite some distance between popular sightseeing spots and popular resort locations. For instance, if you have your heart set on visiting Duns River Falls, but you book a resort in the grill, you'll have to be prepared to spend hours in a vehicle round trip. Ideally, you'll want to book a resort which allows easy access to the locations you want to visit. If Duns River Falls is on the top of your list, then you'd be better off booking a resort in the Ocho Rios area. Next, you should enroll in the Smart Traveler Enrollment Program, also known as the STEP Program with the U.S. State Department. When traveling to a foreign location, you can enroll your trip with STEP. Doing this will ensure you receive the latest information from the U.S. Embassy about your upcoming vacation destination like Jamaica. This service makes it easy for the U.S. Embassy and your friends and family to contact you in the event of an emergency. Best of all, this service is free. We have provided the link below to enroll in the STEP program. Next up, be sure to set up your airport transfers ahead of time. Getting your airport transfers organized up front is important for any trip. This helps avoid getting there and having no idea how to get around or how much it should reasonably cost for a taxi, bus, or rental car. Most importantly, finalizing transfers prior to leaving home will help you avoid being overcharged, left stranded, or canceled by drivers who may or may not be authorized to provide transportation. Some all-inclusive resorts like Sandals in Jamaica include airport transfers as part of the all-inclusive package. That's something to consider when putting together a worry-free vacation. Next, bring differentiating passport holders. Traveling can be fast-paced and in a lot of ways stressful, especially when you're traveling with a group of people or even as a couple. Keeping track of everyone's passports by placing them in unique passport holders will help you find the one you need fast and will save you time and your sanity. We've added a link below to some recommended passport holders. This next do, I've learned the hard way. When traveling to an international destination, be sure you have a black or blue ink pen with you. In fact, try to have at least one for every adult in your travel party. Don't depend on strangers at the airport to lend you pens. It is more practical to bring your own. You're going to need pens to fill out customs and immigration forms and other documents. Having pens for everyone in your travel party will help you get your forms filled out quicker. The faster you fill these out, the sooner you'll be out of the airport and on your way to kick off an amazing vacation in Jamaica. Next, the use of local currency is recommended and appreciated. It's a good idea to convert at least some of your money into local currency, as you may need smaller bills or coins if you're souvenir shopping, for tipping, or other things that may come up. In many cases, locals are not able or unwilling to give you change in U.S. dollars, so you may end up getting short changed if you use USD as your primary spending currency while on island. If you're going to use USD, bring along smaller bills. Keep your money safe in a fanny pack, money belt, or in the safe of your room. 
when heading out on tours, only bring along the money you'll need for the day. Keep in mind that 50 USD, converted to the local currency, about 7,000 JMD, goes a long way for one day in Jamaica. You can get local currency from most ATMs on the island, or you can go to a local bank to get your money changed. The airport also offers currency exchange services, or if you're staying with a Sandals resort, the concierge will be able to offer those services as well. This next do just might save your life. Cue the dramatic music. When crossing the road, look to your left. It can take some time to get used to the different ways of doing things in a foreign destination, but being aware of differences can save your life. In most Caribbean islands, motors drive on the left as opposed to the right in the US. When crossing streets in Jamaica, you may find that you need to make a more active effort to check the left to avoid oncoming traffic. Next, make sure you have sunblock and insect repellent with you, or more specifically, on you. The sun is always blazing in the Caribbean, so it's a good idea to apply sunblock before heading out and be sure to pack extra in your bag, especially if you'll be heading off property. A hat and insect repellent will also come in handy. You're in the tropics after all. Next, book excursions from your resort instead of exploring by taxi. Relying on a taxi driver to take you to the best spots is not always a good idea, especially if this involves a driver that you don't know. Worst case scenario, your driver will take you to their idea of great spots, while you miss out on the things you really want to do, or you might be overcharged for the experience. Some taxi drivers in Jamaica are known to pick up and drop off their friends and family along your excursion, something you might want to avoid. Most resorts allow you to book your excursions right from the resort where hotel staff can assist you with making arrangements for pickup and drop off back to the hotel. Aside from booking from your resort, you can also arrange your own car rental which makes it easier to get around or sign up for guided tours of particular areas on the island. If you do decide to travel on your own, we have some don'ts coming up on this list, so stay tuned! Next, have bottled water with you when you're exploring the island. Tap water in Jamaica is mostly considered safe to drink. However, in more remote areas, you may want to avoid drinking water straight out of the tap, unless it's been boiled, filtered, or treated. To be on the safe side, it's best to stick with bottled water sold at most supermarkets, shops, and bars on the island. Brushing your teeth with tap water, however, is generally considered safe. Next, bring a waterproof case for your phone. If there's one travel tip you'll regret not following upon arrival to sunny Jamaica, it's this one. There are so many opportunities in Jamaica to visit water parks, beaches, and waterfalls that it just makes sense to keep your phone safe in a waterproof case. That way you'll still be able to take photos and use your phone without getting it damaged. We provided a link below to recommended waterproof cases. Next. go with the flow. Life is a little more laid back in the Caribbean. Once you arrive in Jamaica, it's time to recalibrate your mind to take you to that place of relaxation. This is the only way to make the most of your vacation in this part of the world, where life just seems to unfold a bit slower, giving you more time to savor it all. Get used to laid back attitudes and island time, which oftentimes equates to lateness. It's best to embrace island time and refuse to be frazzled by anything at all. Next, go all inclusive. It'll be worth the money. If there's one place where it's worth going the way of the all inclusive vacation, it's Jamaica. Jamaica is well known for having an abundance of all inclusive resorts. This travel option makes it possible for you to really enjoy your vacation without having to focus on small and sometimes time-consuming details during your trip. Contrary to popular belief, all-inclusive vacations are not super costly. They can help you stick to your budget and have a more carefree vacation. All-inclusive resorts like Sandals offer guests some of the world's best inclusions, including the ability to eat as much as you want at gourmet restaurants, stay in luxurious swim-up rooms, and the opportunity to Take advantage of the many water and land sports offered on property, which are all included in your package. Sandals has unlimited soft and alcoholic drinks, including premium brand liquors. Get your money's worth and then some more with an all-inclusive vacation. This next do is a can't miss if you're a coffee lover. When in Jamaica, be sure to enjoy a cup of authentic Jamaican Blue Mountain coffee. 
This coffee is universally considered some of the best coffee in the world, making this something you absolutely don't want to miss out on. Not only can you enjoy a fresh cup of coffee while on the island, you can do a once-in-a-lifetime coffee tour in the Blue Mountains. You'll even be able to pick up Blue Mountain coffee to take home for friends and family. Or you can just visit the resort gift store or a local craft market. Just be sure to look for the official Blue Mountain coffee seal. This next tip is one of my favorites. Give one of the roadside jerk shacks a try. On a regular day, you probably wouldn't be picking up food from a shop on the side of the road, but in the Caribbean, this is how it's done right and done authentic. There are many roadside stops called jerk shacks, which can be found all over the island. They may not be much to look at, but the food is incredibly tasty and super low cost. Having an authentic jerk feast complete with festival bread and rice and peas could not be any more authentically Jamaican, and it's a perfect way to spend a lazy Caribbean afternoon. Next, be kind to local merchants and treat them with respect. If you visit spots like the craft market, expect that you're probably going to be approached by local vendors. Some will simply call out to you, asking what you need or offering what they're selling. And while some travelers might recommend not making eye contact in these scenarios, in Jamaica, this will likely come across as rude. You can simply wave and say, no thank you, and continue on your way. It's okay to say no if you really don't want anything, but if the vendor trying to get your attention has something you're interested in, it's also okay to go check it out. Generally, when shopping at local craft markets, you should go to the vendor with the warmest smile who's less pushy. From these types of vendors, you can usually get what you need at a decent price. Overall, show everyone respect as you go along your way, which in Jamaica includes greeting strangers who might randomly say hello rather than just passing you by. And don't forget, all prices are negotiable unless you're in a store or in the resort gift shop. Finally, take lots of pictures. The beauty of Jamaica is incomparable. You're going to want to have lots of pictures to remember your amazing experience. If you plan on taking pictures with your phone, a digital camera, or you want to rock it old school with a film camera, make sure you have plenty of space to store your photos. Most resorts have US type outlets, so you'll be able to recharge batteries while at the resort. So be sure to bring everything you need to keep your camera powered for the entire trip, so you don't miss a moment of the fun. Jamaica is one of the most incredible places in the world to vacation, and planning properly will ensure you're able to take advantage of all the awesome things the island has to offer when you get there. There are, however, some things we don't recommend when doing when traveling to Jamaica. Here are our don'ts when traveling to Jamaica. First, don't get into a taxi with a stranger that doesn't have a red number plate. Avoid getting into cars with strangers, especially cars without a red number plate. Even if you may consider that you might have made a friend, keep in mind that anyone you meet during your vacation is still pretty much a stranger that you have limited information about. If you want to get around quickly, take a red plate cab or even public transport. Red plate cabs are authorized and licensed to operate. They are also insured. White plates are not. Plan how you'll get to specific locations and make arrangements to get back to your resort before venturing out. Be smart and know it's alright to say no, even if you think someone might be offended. Next, don't wear camouflage clothing. Wearing camouflage print is illegal in Jamaica, and in some cases, packing clothing items of this type can result in them being confiscated at the airport. Only the local army is permitted to wear this print in Jamaica, so do yourself a favor and leave your camouflage items at home. It won't make you invisible from local vendors anyway. <laughs> Next, don't show off how much you own. Jamaica is one of those places where it's best to keep it as understated as possible. Avoid wearing flashy jewelry when out and walk with minimum cash. Pay attention to the personal information you share as it relates to where you live, how many cars you own, and things of this nature. Leave expensive electronics in your room, preferably in the safe, when you head out on tours so you don't end up losing them. Next, don't go off the beaten path in Jamaica if it's your first time visiting. Going off the beaten path is fun to think about, but not always a good idea in a strange destination where you don't know your way around and aren't on a paid tour. For tourists especially, exploring in this way is not recommended in Jamaica. Stick to highly populated areas, and if you're in Jamaica for a low-key activity like backpacking, it may be best to do so with an experienced guide. 
Next, don't hitchhike and avoid traveling alone or at night. Hitchhiking is a no-no in Jamaica, as is traveling to remote, unfamiliar areas at night. Highly popular tourist areas are usually fine in the nighttime, but be sure to make proper arrangements to get to and from the location and find out as much information as you can from your resort concierge before you go. In terms of going to the beach at night, stick to the resort beach, which is usually patrolled by private security. Next, if you're renting a car, don't drive on the right side of the road. If you plan on taking out a rental for vacation, keep in mind that you'll need to drive on the left side of the road in Jamaica. Driving in Jamaica can seem a bit haphazard to visitors, so it's best to stay alert while navigating the roadways. There are often lots of potholes in some areas, so if you must drive while on the island, do so in anticipation of a bumpy ride. Jamaicans can drive aggressively and typically show little patience for tourists trying to navigate the roads in Jamaica. Finally, I know this may not line up with movies that you've seen, but in Jamaica, marijuana is illegal. That's right, marijuana is illegal in Jamaica, which might be surprising to some considering how closely it's been linked to Jamaican culture over the years. In Jamaica, you can actually be arrested for possession of marijuana. In most cases, though, possession of small amounts is likened to a petty offense. But to be on the safe side, you're just not going to want to be caught walking around with an illegal commodity. If you're approached but not interested, don't worry. Declining politely will suffice. Jamaica is an insanely popular place to vacation in. This tropical paradise is a favorite among many singles, couples, and families from all over the world and most visitors return year after year. TripAdvisor even ranked Jamaica as the number one Caribbean destination to visit. So, is it safe to travel to Jamaica? <laughs> yes! Just use your common sense, relax, and let the good times roll. From tropical beaches to majestic waterfalls, from lush mountains to luxurious resorts, Jamaica has it all. If you're ready to book a sandals honeymoon or romantic vacation in Jamaica, you can find the link below or you can visit our website at honeymoon.com. That's H-N-Y-M-O-O-N.com. Remember to like this video and subscribe to our channel for more sandals and Caribbean vacation planning information. My name is Michelle and we will see you in our next planning video.